A friend wanted to have a tree house, but he didn't have any land. So I started from the beginning yeah. to search the trees. <laughs> this area is quite common for second houses. <laughs> okay, I'll unattach it. Yeah, can you bring... I want to do another time, so... Oh, take the stuff out. Yeah, take the oh, stuff I don't out. Know yeah. The rent is quite high here. And it was also hard to find something for tree houses. People don't really know much about tree houses. It was quite difficult to explain what we're going to do. They couldn't imagine this kind of thing stays in one certain property. It's something unknown. People get scared if something wrong happens. Yeah. There's no foundation, so what to do with the tax and things. Rent also. <laughs> In Japan, people never seen this kind of thing. It was quite difficult to find some place to build tree houses. Another friend of mine who runs the woodworking business here, I asked him to rent the land. He allowed me to use these two trees for tree houses. I told them it's used for 10 years, so it's still temporary. So you wanted two trees that were near each other. Can you tell me about selecting? These were cut before I come, so um, okay. there was no process <laughs> of selecting. It's the land until there, so there's only two trees left. This isn't and big enough for normal tree houses. This is quite a challenging to have such a big mass on this height, but it was a kind of challenge. The structure is quite basic and uh, attached to the tree was the special bolt. I imported this bolt from the United States. It used to call it Garnier Lim. It's now called TAB, T-A-B, Tree Attachment Bolt. So were you worried about like sort of weight limits and things mm -hmm. like that? Yeah, yeah. You can't really calculate uh, how strong it is because each tree has a different our strength. Don't know what kind of root, how deep they are going in. It's a very young tree and it's got the gap in between this land and that lower level. So I was wondering if this young tree moves a lot and fell over <laughs> to this side. But after a few years, this tree grow its muscle like this root. It's been three years, four years. It grows it's muscle here, there. Keeps the less massive things by itself. It's providing a foundation for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are many trees like this everywhere in Japan. After the Second World War, there are the same ages. So if this goes successful, everybody can make one for themselves. To decide which level uh, you want to have the platform, first you go up and climb the tree. This tree was about 50 meters, and this level is about four and a half meters high. Me and my friend climb up the trees and find out this was a good level for us to see the, all the scenery out. After we decided the platform, we thought about the structure. It's a quite common way of making tree houses. This, I don't know how it calls, triangle beam. There's two bolts uh, holding this uh, triangle structure and double, it holds the platform. I'm not a professional architect. I was working with uh, another treehouse builder, one of the uh, treehouse pioneers in Japan for two years or something, and after that I started to do my own business. I'm interested in small spaces because it's... I'm totally not a professional builder. 
or architect or anything like that. So it's quite difficult for me to make a bigger size. It's always small. <laughs> I haven't asked to build bigger one yet, so maybe I can do a bigger one in the future, but not yet. I, I just, I really like the beams. It feels like a, actually feels like a really large cabin. <laughs> right, and we just follow the shape of the roof. First we had the gable roof. Gable, yeah. Mm -hmm, gable roof. And I found we cannot, we couldn't really open it if we, if the roof goes straight down. No. The angle of the roof changes from this part so that um, I can open the window. Otherwise it goes like that, then you cannot really open the window. <laughs> and this one is being used as an actual residence, I mean second residence, uh, a but second actually it. to yeah. live it. To live it, yeah, for a couple of days. They come quite often, once or twice in a month, and stays in the forest and enjoy their time being quiet. Do they use a bed? Or? They normally use a uh, sleeping bag to sleep. It's a quite Japanese or camping style. <laughs> you, When you sleep, you put all the sleeping bag and mats here. And when you wake up, you roll it and put it there. You have your camping chair here. Yeah. And you have a little thing for your table. And there's a kind of rice cooker and gas cooker thing here. So you can cook here. Either you can do that in the terrace too. They're like, they're more like cooking outside and like that. I think maybe 10 years in Japan, people are trying to live in a simple way. So many people are trying to reduce their belongings. We call it Danshari. It's a Buddhist idea. Shari basically means the grain of rice and Dan means stop. So you can just sit there and open it. And you can make coffee or you can cook your food, meal. It's much nicer. And yeah. you sleep inside and you do things outside here and in the uh, balcony or down below. Okay. It's like camping, but, but sort of... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have a shelter and you don't have to carry your tent and things. And it's a metal wood, so you feel more comfortable. Rather than plastic tent. I think wood makes you... Yeah, feel better. Mm. Definitely. And tree moves too. With time? Yeah. Or, with, or do you... When the wind blows, oh, yeah, really? yeah. Can you see it if you can't move it though here? I don't think it. Okay. Can you feel, feel it moving? It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's on the trees, so it moves. Yeah. There's no, there's yep. no concern that it'll it's, grow too much. Change. It's still young, so it grows quite fast. Mm. As you see here, it's, it's been three years, four years since mm. when I cut it. So okay. it covers up in, in three or four more years. Mm. You won't see the, this part. So it grows fast, so is that a problem at all? I don't yeah. think so. We can just cut the circle around and this has enough space. Chimney kind of opening. Oh yeah, it's funny actually. <laughs> I haven't seen that before where it's sort of boxed in up at the top. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Yeah, it looked funny without it. <laughs> and it also prevents rain because you've got a canopy, so there's not much rain comes in from that point. I sometimes work as an arborist. I do the tree work and when I cut the tree I keep all these interesting stems because it goes bad quickly so I take the uh, bark off 
and let it dry for a year or two years. When they get dried, I use for handrail and fence and things like that. So you're holding on to pieces for years? Yeah, 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 I do. All these are quite local. I, I cut those trees just in, a few miles away from here. Mm -hmm. You wanted it to feel really organic, like sort of part of the front? I like organic shape too, but it was just there. I, got, I found, found it and I thought I could use it here. <laughs> and that, that was it's quite simple. This siding too, I had some timber. Basically, I, I just asked my lumber mill to just sew in a simple way. I didn't ask them to make it straight. So they brought like this and we enjoyed the shape itself. And That's great. Did you have any technical training in building or architecture or, or is all a practice? No, not at all. <laughs> I'm still not good at woodworking and building thing. But I have many friends in good at like a woodworker and arborist and I'm not a professional. Nothing in, you know, I'm, I'm just like to think about how I can make a room in trees or like in the forest. How did you know it would stand up then? How did you know the technical part of it? In each project, I have some friends to help me. This is also handmade windows. Really? Yeah, a friend of mine made this. And also, I always try to work with the local people who knows which is good lumberyard and where I can get metal fittings and things. Mm -hmm. And that makes the whole design. I don't really design things. I just enjoy what's happening next. And, <laughs> and this was designed by uh, many of us. We just um, stay in this little house and sleep together, eat together and drink together and we just keep talking about design and how we want and, and so this was happening. It, on the location? On the location. Yeah. It, it, I think especially with trees that sounds to make sense. Yeah it's quite difficult to measure it and plan it. You just need to go and build it and sit and the, cut the hole here and the, cut the hole there because you want to see this scenery here and you want to see there the other side of the mountain and the trunk together at the same time and this was meant to be open for communicating with the people down below hello <laughs> This is something not well planned. So it takes a lot of time to make one things without plan. But I enjoy doing that. It takes longer. Mm -hmm. Much longer, I think. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Okay, stay inside. No, 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 Nikki, stay inside. Stay inside, Nikki. Stay inside, there's a big hole there. Will you make sure he stays inside? Be really careful, Shimona, okay? Wow, it's high. Why go up? Why a tree house? Why a tree house? It's just fun. <laughs> it's a big ladder. I first didn't like the height. Uh, uh, Fear, uh, yeah, afraid of height. Here. Since I started to know the tree houses, I, I forgot about that feeling. And since then, I'm kind of crazy about the being in the trees. That makes me feel very good. It's quite spacious. What is Four here? and a half to dummy mats. <laughs> Something like that. Four and a half to dummy <laughs> Good night. Good night. Okay, come on in. What? Please, can you have two What? You guys hungry? I'm okay. I'm hungry. Is he dead? No. He's not.
Yeah, it's a, comfortable. You can just have an access to everything. You have your book beside you, and you have some thing to drink. He's moving. Good. And even if you have a friend with you, and they are sitting next to you, we we're kind of uh, chat together, have a good conversation. You don't see so much when you're sleeping in a tent, but here you can see the forest. You can smell the forest here. You can listen to the sound of stream and sound of birds. And It's the type of noise you want to have. Mm -hmm. Instead yeah. of cars, mm -hmm. there's no cars here. <laughs> Do you like the tree house? Yeah. It's like up, come up, come up, come up. I'm it's coming up and up, what? The tree? Go down. A tree house. Where are you going? We're going to see. There's two tree trunks. One here, one over there. We're going to see how they're attached. Oh. Okay, Nick, sit down. I'm gonna put your shoes on. No, no. Sit down, I'll put your shoes on. Wanna get your socks? Why treehouse? You have a, a kind of tree point view, uh, and that makes me feel good, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. If it stays on the ground, you have to communicate with all this grass and all the insects and moisture, soil thing. But if you go up in here, you just kind of... It's a simple tree and me. And it's... I just love how the trees are right here. You see all those trees? Yeah, it's just next to it. So you can just touch to the next. You really Being made it part of it, part of it. You know, it's not like it stops, right? Mm -hmm. The tree comes right up through. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's there and it's simple. There's no, no other reason. That's just to feel good. <laughs>